Welcome to another Pixel for Life tutorial. Today guys, I'm gonna be showing you in Sony Vegas how to add text on top of your images and or video. And we'll also talk a little bit about animation and things of that nature. So guys, it really is very simple. And this is just a very basic tutorial. So if you have something that you want to make that's a little bit more advanced, I would suggest checking out some of our other tutorials with Adobe After Effects and things of that nature. I'll link a couple of those down in the description below. And also some of the tutorials on how to make your own logo if you do not already know how. But anyways guys, you have placed your image or your video in, you've already done your edits and your cuts and it's all good, but now you want to place something on your actual image or video. So guys, all you need to do is click on Media Generators, and then over here on the left, you can click on Titles and Text. Now there is some very basic presets like the sample text, but then all of the other ones primarily are animations of different type that you can uh, actually see a little preview of if you just kind of hover over them. And so like pop up, fly in, menace, jump, fall down, float and pop, you know, just basic animations that you can use. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use the fly in one. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag that into our timeline, just like this, and you'll see it'll pop up a video media generator. And what you guys want to go ahead and do is go to the end of your animation timeline and then you can change the text right here so for instance pixel for life will be what I'm gonna use and then you can select that text and you can actually change the size of the text also the font type to something else that you like a little bit better put bold italics you can center it do all of that stuff and then you can also change the animation here again if you decide to do that so then you can scale it up or down or you know whatever you like to do. So I'm just going to reset that there. Whoops. Go back to Menace. And then you have a couple of other options like uh, the background behind it. Uh, you can place an outline on it like this. Make the outline color say black. Just like that and then you can just make it a little bit bigger if you like something like that so it stands out on your image a little bit more and then what you want to do is go ahead and close this out now you'll see here if I play the animation it's not quite in the center of my image so what you want to do is you actually want to go over here to where it says pan and crop and what you want to do is simply click and then zoom out and then hold down shift so you can scale this out a little bit more. Again, going to the towards the end of your animation here, or somewhere in the middle. You just want to get a good look at what is actually happening for you here. So you can see here, you can scale this up. And you can move it into the center just like that. Now when you play the animation, you'll see it actually does it right in the center just like that. Now I don't really personally like this uh, specific animation so I'm gonna go ahead and have it do the float and pop instead and you'll see whoops actually let's go back over here let's go ahead and select this text we'll make this be size like 22 and then we'll readjust the pan and crop settings so that it is a little bit bigger for us like this and we'll center that on the screen just like that now when we play the animation, you'll see here it'll actually come up and start popping for us just like that and float up towards the top to where they're then off the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick lesson in Sony Vegas. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, guys, and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel because every subscription really does help us out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time here on the Pixel for Life channel.